Uh, why? All right, guys. So I just turned on the camera. Um, I can hear dripping on the seat, so my uh, my observation was correct. Um, I'm getting water <sighs> through the roof, actually. Um, right here on this corner of the emergency exit. Um, hopefully that's just a seal. Maybe it's just not sealed well. All the electrical works, all the lighting works in the ceiling. Um, so the electrical hasn't been compromised. So that's good. So hopefully I can just take this out, the emergency exit at this point here and um, seal it up. But yeah, I do have a drip here on the seat, which is kind of nice that the seat's still here. So I can, you know, see that, which is good. Um, but now I'm kind of concerned that there are other leaks. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep working at this floor here and Hopefully we don't come across any more problems. I mean, problems are gonna be inevitable, but maybe just the leaks for now is good. Um, yeah, gotta keep going. guys so I have taken off all the screws in the siding um, peeled up that little strip that was holding the flooring to the the wall on um, the floor it was looking okay um, I'm getting a little bit more concerned after the last layer that I pulled up um, where that wet spot was coming in over here by the wheel well. Um, all of this is soaking wet. So all of the boards underneath the laminate in the school bus um, is super wet, probably from that wheel hub there to about where I'm standing right now. Um, so quite a bit of that side of the bus is kind of concerning right now. Um, I am hoping to get up this wood today see what's underneath here. Hopefully we are not fully rusted through um, the floor, which if we are, um, we've got a plan B for that as well. Um, we're just going to have to redo the entire floor with steel. So obviously a cost that we weren't necessarily looking to spend, but if it means that our bus is going to be all the sturdier and is going to last a lot longer, um, we're going to do it. So keep you guys posted. Um, yeah, flooring's wet sucks, but stay positive and keep moving on to the next thing. It has been two weeks since we bought the school bus and we've been working super hard um, trying to work here and there when we can usually about two hours at a time today I got a few hours in uh, before Connor got off work I took the rest of the rubber off the floor I took off all of the seals that were holding the floor and the wall together 
And then I got all the rubber off the wheel wells on the inside, took the mount off the heater that is holding the two heaters in place, as well as the little rubber that runs all the way to the front of the school bus. So I took that mount off there. And then we started taking off the emergency exit in the back of the bus. And then we also started tearing up some of the wood um, underneath. I got some of it all by myself, some of the smaller pieces, but some of the bigger pieces I had to wait for Connor to get off work because they were really waterlogged. Um, we found some leaks. Um, immediately when I came into the bus today, there was like a stream running down the left-hand side of the bus. And I was like, could have been from, you know, a couple of days ago. But no, it was definitely from the wheel well in the bus. Uh, that is completely rusted on the left side. So some steel work to be done there. Um, also a leak from the second emergency exit closest to the back. Um, I heard some dripping while I was ripping up the floor and there was a whole puddle on the seat. So found that. Didn't get discouraged though. I kept working super hard and just trying not to think about that portion of the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. Um, and so yeah, work continues tomorrow, but yeah. Yeah, Shana was a trooper for getting to work before I was off work. It was a, it was a long day. But yeah, the rain started falling and the bus started leaking. It's just one of those things. So the leaky X is probably silicone. Probably just needs new silicone Hopefully. all around it. Hopefully. <laughs> um, otherwise, we're going to have to go with plan B, which is completely remove the emergency exits and install real residential skylights with screens that can be open and closed. Which isn't a terrible I'm, plan B. It's I'm not opposed more, to that. It's just more money. It's more money. Everything's more money. It's all just money and time. <laughs> but I'm not opposed <clears throat> to the skylights. I really like the skylight idea. And if my shower could be over one of the skylights, that could that could be a possibility. I'm I'm totally in for that. Beautiful remote place with a skylight in the shower. That'd be pretty nice. Shout out to Roll with the Bus. You guys' shower skylight idea is sweet. Yeah, you've given us some inspo for that. That was sweet. That's a really good idea. Anyway, um, we still got more work to do. I dropped the emergency exit panel today, and I'm going to get new light bulbs, new lights for the front and the back to substitute the emergency flashers, because those have to be disabled. Um, going to try to find some scrap steel to fix the floor. Yes. A lot of scrap steel to fix the floor. And then we gotta grind that down, paint it, drop the ceiling, which is gonna be really difficult. It's rivets. So we're gonna try to get either a air chisel or a sawzall or whatever's accessible. Drop the ceiling. And then I've been looking at spray foam kits to do closed cell spray foam insulation on the walls and on the ceiling, maybe on the floor. Probably not though. Floor is probably gonna be rigid foam insulation. Um. Yeah, hopefully get some shop time this weekend or next weekend to prime the bus and get some paint on it so that it's not yellow. Another requirement for our RV plates. Um, One step closer to retitling. So yeah, mm -hmm, as soon as we get that mm -hmm. done, I can transfer the title, get new plates for it, and then... We can actually drive it. Yeah. We can legally drive the bus. Which we don't plan on doing. Not anymore, no, because it's it's terrible out. Anytime soon, the roads have like three inches of ice and slush, snow, nonsense. and all that fun stuff. So it's actually Minnesota winter now. It's um, here. It's here. It's supposed to be in the teens all this week. Probably like ten degrees every day. Some nights it's supposed to drop to the negatives. So um, hopefully we can get some work done this week. Uh, it's looking pretty chilly. So yeah, we will. Keep you guys updated. Uh, we did start a Facebook page, an Instagram, as well as a YouTube so that everyone can kind of follow us wherever they want to. Um, our school bus name, we finally decided on a name. It is True North Bus. Yes. So follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. All of them are the same. True North Bus. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, follow us there. We'll be doing updates and videos and vlogs and all that fun stuff so 
That's pretty much it. Stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in a few days.